So I just covered Cakewalk Sonar, and I'd figure I would download and try this one out as well, uh, because what do I have to lose? So we're going to start with trying it with just wine, and so far it works. We're going to exit out all of this, because why not? Unable to connect to an internet. Okay, well, that was quick. What do we do now? Well, simple. When you fail, you try with a different program. We're going to try with Lutris. So we're going to call this Kickwalk. And that's it's just, uh, that's we are going to set that as its identifier. Holy heck, can I English today, huh? So we're going to select a file. And we're going to go to downloads. And we're going to just select Kickwalk. We're going to install it. It's going to do everything it needs to to get it working. You fail once. You try again. That is the way of a real Jedi. And look, it's a it's it's not doing anything. Now, sometimes this can be fixed by doing that or just waiting. So we're going to hit next. Next and we're going to download the additional files. So the reason I keep Lutris around is because it's able to do things that normal wine's not, like find things that uh, the programs need and apply them. I haven't tried to install Adobe yet using Lutris, but I might do that today. Might. We're going to see if it can handle the installer. Because if not, I can instantly kill and stop it. So I don't know if this is just going in circles or if it's actually downloading anything, but there is a very easy way to check. And that's by clicking here and going to system monitor and it is downloading 34 megabytes, 24 megabytes, so on and so forth. So this is actually doing its thing. All right. So now we wait and see. Well, we didn't have to wait long, so we're going to accept this, and I'm basically going to do the normal install, and by the way, this is also the reason I record an MKVs now, because when something like this crashes your DE, like in the last Cakewalk video, uh, pretty much you're able to just instantly recover the footage and continue off where you uh, originally were. So, MKV AV1 for the win. All right. Come on, you got this. Install. It's always interesting watching something like this install because I don't, I haven't really looked to see if many people have got this to work. So, you know, if they did, they did. If they didn't, they didn't. But I'll be able to add this cakewalk next to that cakewalk. And then we're going to try to install uh cakewalk next and cakewalk is such a weird name for a for a daw but it is what it is oh no oh no now it's got to install this come on it doesn't even download the standalone version which is the problem because uh, the standalone version is the only one that actually works is there any way that we could just kill this this is what I think it is, right? I'll install this after. I'm probably going to have to open up uh, system tools. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Download done. Download done. Waiting to install. Give me a freaking progress bar, not this progress bar. Come on. I have hopes that I don't have to end you. I have hopes. Don't make me. I will off you if you cause trouble. You will be destroyed. Come on, you got this. Yeah, it already should have installed by now. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. It didn't work. Where are you? Okay. Bye. All right, so it's finishing installation. So we have a way around this and we will finish installing the web views here in a second. Don't worry. All right, so we're not going to launch the application. And 
it's going to extract all the files that it needs. Great. Running through this is kind of fun because I have no idea what I'm doing. We're sort of just reaching into this, into the void of hell and being like, I summon a demon that will make Cakewalk work. Yeah, that's what it's sometimes like when trying to use Windows applications on Windows. Like if I tried to get iTunes working, God knows it would just be a black screen. Not even kidding. We're going to try that later. I'll, I'll do a video dedicated to iTunes to see what it's like because I haven't tried it in years. All right, come on. It's got some samples going on. Samples are good. That means I can hopefully put something together. I don't know. But if I can, I'm going to do so. And no, I'm not trying to drag out this video. I want to make sure you see all of the steps. Arr, it's getting closer to the end. And now it's got to do the drum replacer version. Okay. So I have a feeling that this installation is going to take a while. So I'm going to mute and fast forward this. All right, so it wants me to install Melodyne 5. I don't know what that is, but there you go. Melodyne 5 is installed. It says it's finishing the installation. And I hope for the best. All right, it's still going. So it finished. It is done. We're going to hit the finish button. And I'm going to open up Lutris. And hopefully it understands that we just finished the installation. And hopefully it doesn't quit on us. We'll find out in a minute. Well, Lutris would not close the, the, the thing. But um, here's the good part. I backed up the files. So what we're able to do is track down the executable. So I moved it to documents, drive C, and I believe it should be in program files, cakewalk, cakewalk core. And hopefully it's in here somewhere. I know there's an exe config here. There it is. Great. We're going to select 64 bit and we're going to stick with wine GE. Okay. I'm going to hit save. Hopefully it will let me save. Come on, Lutris. Thank you. And we're going to hit play. And it's starting up. And we did it. And it says knocked activated. It's scanning for VSTs, which we're fine with. And I'm just going to hit next on this and next on this and done we did it how cool is that and there's a startup screen that i don't want and what we're gonna do is i'm gonna hit file new and we're gonna name this d yes all right so the window's a bit jumpy okay it's a bit jumpy but that's fine we're now going to go to music and I'm going to grab all of my tunage and I'm going to just drop them in and see what happens. Tunage? Tunage, bro. Tunage. I don't think it's going to let me drop some of these in. No. Do we have to import the tracks? Is that what's going on? Do we have to go to my computer? Do we have to go to home? Do we have to go to me? Do we have to go here and then import them all? Are you doing anything, bro? It's doing something. Righteous. Okay, fake surfer voice deactivate. Dude, no. To be fair, sometimes I do go a bit crazy when it comes to making these videos. Uh, because it's always... 
a challenge to get this stuff fully functional and working. And it to do it in such a short amount of time is a bit complicated because I want to get the most information imaginable in, but it's also not possible at the same time to fully make everybody happy. Like Cakewalk's got three programs. We just did two of them and we have a third one to go. Think about that. Okay. Think about that. And now that I know how to install these things and bypass these things, I mean, honestly, I'm hoping this is going to be a lot easier than it was before. Now we're going to do this. Oh, is it still going? Are you still doing stuff? Because I want to expand the tracks. It's not letting me expand them. Ah, there we go. Great. Expand. Just because it looks better. Gathering thumbnail requirements, you know. And this last one should fill it in. Good. Now, I noticed there is a gap here. But what do these sound like when we play them all at once? Do I dare? Oh. No metronome. Play. I can't hear anything because it's not actually playing on the right one. But I believe we can just switch it over. Uh, if we needed to. Yeah, there it is. They are playing. They are functioning. The VST scan completed. It looks like everything's there. And again, I don't really know how to do anything with this, but maybe you guys do. So once again, you asked me to find out how to install it to see if it works. It so far looks like it works. Now it's up to you to tell me how much of it does work. If it's buggy, if it's having issues. Remember, Lutris install. Do it that way, it seems to work best. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Especially like the video because it helps the algorithm. And I will see you guys next time.